Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Ormer, and this is Xenoblade Chronicles 3, and this is my first ever playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. We're here with this new gang of people, Mio, Tyon, and Sina. I want to obviously say the last one, for some reason I was calling uh, Noah, Jonah, and I have no idea why. Um, I actually just figured this out that when I was like, uh, when someone pointed out in the comment section last time, and like, I was saying to my friends and they were laughing their heads off as well, because it is very silly, right? Like, just getting a name wrong that time, but it does happen, it does happen. Uh, but I definitely gonna be calling him a Noah from now on. I'm really excited to be with this new crew though. Like I think that it's actually like worked pretty well. Sometimes it can be a little bit jarring to like separate yourself from like the um I don't know, if like the, the, the crew that you're not really used to. But luckily they did it early enough as well that it didn't feel so jarring either. Cause I feel like um it's good to see the other side things. I think that's what they're setting up here as well. They definitely want us to see the other side of the war. They definitely want us to see the like other people's perspectives. There's even a line in the game about this, like when they're talking about the the um like hey look, you killed all our comrades. And it's like, oh you can talk, all of our comrades are dead. You know, it's like, yeah, that's that's what's gonna happen at this point, because it's a senseless thing. The cycle of violence continues. It happens over and over again. We love cancelling attacks. That was awesome. Who did that? That was so awesome, Tyon. Okay, let's try our best with this, guys. If we don't defeat it, we don't defeat it. It's fine, though. I want to try, though. I want to try. We, we haven't defeated one of these guys yet. I have to aggro it. Aggro me. Yeah, it's aggro to me. It's aggro to me. And the music as well. We can. Do, I know that. I think that, like, uh, like someone was saying, like, halfway through their health, they get, like, a rage mode. Um, that's gonna be uh, interesting to kind of combat, I suppose. I love the ca the cancelling of moves. It's such a simple thing, right? That works so well, and it keeps you interested in the battle as well. Oh, you top? Did you? I thought you toppled him. Gemini strike, because we need to build up another Gemini strike after this as well. Yeah, get that Gemini strike. The music here's so good as well. Oh wow, here's the rage mode. Yeah, here it is. This is when they, like, last time, if you remember, we got effed up by this guy. Well, one of these guys. We get effed up by one of these creatures. The, uh, the, the orange creatures. The highest value creatures. But the evasion up should actually work actually pretty well. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I think it's because we're a much higher level as well. I think we're a bit of a higher level. Let's do a Gemini Strike. But I actually I love using Mio. I actually like if we do become like one cohesive unit, which like maybe it might happen. Maybe we might actually just be separate for the entire game. I think that oh we did it, our first conquering of the of these guys. That's awesome. And we got some nice experience points. And there's also a lesser wolf over here. I freaking love the aggro system as well. Wait, what's that? Do you guys see that? What is that? Is that an enemy too? Sorry, I'm just like noticing this thing over here. Is it like, do, we, do we have to kill this too? Refighting. Oh, you can refight unique monsters. Okay, fair enough. I'm guessing that might be a good idea to like uh, get some like stuff, like some items if you need them to. Oh, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. The dialogue here as well, they're actually like adding a lot to the game too, like Tyon obviously like is kind of like, hey, I, I don't want to care about these guys because like these guys are clearly the enemy. Uh, Sina clearly has a bit more care, a bit honest with herself as well. But honestly, like it was a great scene in the last episode where they're all helping each other, it was a beautiful moment. An absolutely beautiful moment, I loved it. It takes a lot of, yeah, it does take a lot of... Uh, good writing and good strategy when you're creating a game to have people all of a sudden switch to the opposite side and have to care about like a whole new group of people very quickly because they did a really good job of making us care about the um, uh, the Kiev's people, right? The Kivisis. Felix is online. Have a good time, Felix. Um, a lot of people say disable those things, the online thing. I love it. I love seeing my friends have a good time, you know? I, I just love scenes like, oh, they're playing... Uh, they're playing Ace Attorney. Awesome. You know, have a good time. I love that stuff. Shall we deal with this? Here we go. Yeah, I love... We're going to cancel more attacks as well when we get back to the other team as well. And, like, they, like Mamba died last time. And, like, honestly, I had a lot of time to think about it as well. 
Like, just, like, because I, th I thought to myself, like, man, he deserved, like, a bit, bit more of emotional debt, maybe even than uh, Van Damme did. And, like, then I thought to myself, I think they're trying to get the point across that, like, he had a pointless death, almost. And, like, to the point that, like, he was so close to getting what he wanted, which was, you know, to be able to be uh, seen off by the Queen, which is what everyone wants. And so his death was so pointless at that point that he just became one of the, the many people who died on the battlefield. And if that's what they were going for, I can't just say that. I can't just predict that. F yeah. Awesome. Oh my god, we're, we're, we're meeting up. We're meeting up. What? Yeah, we all got the same idea, guys. Hi. There's Noah. Oh, this guy's so pretty. Oh wow, what what happened there? Much as I love a friendly reunion, what exactly are we doing here? Yeah, beats me. I'm starting to get antsy here. Mm, what he said. And how do you suppose we feel? Tyon, don't be like Tyon. Reel it in a little. This is so fun to see these characters together. You guys, you want to survive? Yeah, what Van Damme said. Live on. Hold the torch. Good question. What? His voice Let's makes live. me swoon. Let's <laughs> what it's kind so nice. Of talk is that? Of course we're gonna survive. Well then, we know where to go. The city. The sit. What are you even? In the eyes of the world at large, we're outlaws now. We can't go back to the colony. The soldiers. Their irises glowed blood red, just like his did. Yeah, he clearly put a mark out on us as well. And like, like whoever these guys are, I'm so intrigued. Right. The guys who are controlling everyone. I remember. This is just conjecture. But what if... Those soldiers are perceiving us as enemies. Because of the red irises? Yeah. Correct. But what's even up with the colony? Did that freak do that? How? We don't know the method, but it's logical to think he did something. That's exactly right. That's it. So instead of going off our separate ways, we stand a better chance if we all work together. Factual. Right? Factual. I suppose I can't deny that. Yes, yeah, that's logical. We're going to be running. We might as well have some kind of aim, right? Oh, this is really cool. This is really cool. People on opposite Your hair is awesome. Working together. Do you see? You're saying we can survive that way. Dude, what are we doing about the homecoming? Lance, are you being serious? Uh, uh... Come on. You have to understand. <sighs> if you still want to go after all this, I won't stop you. But before you do, you'll have to kill our friends here. <sighs> what? Is that even how our lives are supposed to go? Remember yeah, the ceremony? and Noah's been feeling this oh, for a God. while. But after our homecoming, what's left? Well, think of the praise they got up there. Up on that shining platform. That's all you're fighting for. It was like a pillar of husks. Oh. Terrible altar built upon countless lives. You want that as your legacy? You're really okay with that? <sighs> I freaking love Noah. Well... What do you want me to do? I can't answer that for you. I don't know everything. But we need answers. I say we go out and find them. I want to know, why were we entrusted with these powers? What did he mean by the real enemy? So, the city. Yeah. What did he say? A, a land pierced by a great sword? Oh, right. That sword. 
You know that massive one way down south? Yeah, that's really freaking cool. <laughs> the real enemy. How amazing is it though like that that they like um sit down with each other, have a conversation and they realize they're not so different, you know? I think I'd like to trust that man. Besides, how can we even fight anymore? After all we've been through. Yeah, what's the point? Who are you fighting for? The people that are tra attacking you? They were the enemy. Yeah, I love the dirt in the nose as well, guys, but... Mobius is clearly the enemy. It's Mobin time, like. Okay, I'm with Mimi on this one. That's two. That's two. Come on, Tyon. Come on. Tyon. Tyon. It may be to our advantage. It's a great tune as well. I'll admit that, at least. And we'll leave the the Herapons here. Oi. What's that look for? <laughs> Don't just stare at me. It's creepy. How could we not stare at you, lads? We're gonna need an answer soon. Do I even have a choice? Oh, you could feel that in his heart. That, that, that hurt him. <laughs> this, is br this is a brilliant scene. Good. My name's Noah. Colony 9, Special Forces Unit. As you know, I'm an Officer. These three, Lans, Uni, and Riku, are my long-term friends. Oh, and this is my passion. <laughs> Someday I'd like to play my own melodies. Not just Oh, music <laughs> so that sweet. I in training. Okay. Go for it, dude. Uh, what is this? Feels like a surprise inspection or something. Get up and tell us your hobbies. In the long run. Come on, man. I mean, getting really? to know each other, right? Takes the edge off. I'm called Mio. I'm an officer in Colony Gamma's musical unit. Musical unit? Um, I can do the hundred metri in seven seconds. Pretty quick on my toes, I guess. That's amazing. You go, girl. Yeah, you go, girl. And I keep a diary. Oh, that's, I like that's writing not... down what happens. I never miss a single day. Why is everyone in this Uni's group so name. adorable? Special Forces Unit, Colony 9. We act as Noah's escort. Me and the boys. Inseparable since we left the pod. Me and the boys. My special moves, <laughs> group heal. It's great at healing my allies all at once. My hobby, collecting fortune clovers, I guess. Oh. And I'm Senna. I'm Senna. I've been Mio's roomie uh, ever since I was posted to Colony Gamma. My special move, I'm just crazy strong, I guess. Oh my god, yes, it, Senna. But I can lift far more than my own weight. Lift us all, Senna. My hobby is lifting. <laughs> oh, there you go, Lance. Got a muscle buddy. <laughs> Come on, lads. Come on. That's Tix. Well, I'm Tyon. Tyon. I'm part of operations and planning in Colony Gamma's survey branch. For this mission, I was assigned as support for the Offseer. And go on. Your, Your special, special move? move. <laughs> I don't have a special move. <laughs> what about these things? I want to know about these things. What's the point? Why share details like Knowing that? small things about people helps take the edge off. It really does. Hobbies. Wow, Colony Dull. <laughs> was that uni? Riku. In Colony 9, Riku was head of maintenance and crafting. And these are attendants of Riku. They at your disposal. What's this attendance crap? Oh my god, he's definitely a Herapon. Oh, <laughs> he's definitely a Herapon in Colony of Mio and others. Manana master of food. Stews, baked goods. Oh no, we're bringing her with her. Let's come on, you're coming with us. Cook up a mean Gonzalez eyeball. Eyeball? I didn't realize both Agnes and Kevis assigned Nop onto their officer squads. Weird coincidence, huh? Yeah. Wouldn't have expected similarities there. <sighs> come on. Well, Lance, tell us about tell us uh, about you. My name's Lance. I'm from the same colony as Noah. 
I work as the unit's Look defense. at those eyes, man. My special move? Ah, you figure it out. Ugh. Do we have to do this rubbish? Just bear with us. Just we bear can with plan us. Now that you've joined? Yeah. So you're acting like we're a team already? We are, lands. Ugh. Fuck's alive. <laughs> Fine then. I'm, I'm so in love with this game. You totally sure? What else do I do? Not like we've got much choice. So, what's our angle? We have made some distance, but we're still in the colony's search zone. Luckily, we don't have any colonies south of here. And you? We shouldn't have any colonies mobilized either. So we go south then? Yeah. Um, what are you doing there? Hmm? Well, our clothes are pretty filthy. Just wondered if there was anything to change into. Oh. Wait, we have new outfits? Fashion and utility. That's a hoodie. <laughs> That's a hoodie and a jacket. Because <laughs> these are, uh, yeah. Don't yeah, and obviously, clothes. like... Have a look around. Take anything that could come in useful. I mean, yeah, I suppose, like, we would, like, need something different, especially since we're not part of those forces anymore and they're coming after us, too. We could use? Also, we have to talk to... Also, we can... We'll talk to people first. Of course we're going to talk to people first. Uni, how are you doing? What's in store for us, do you think? Actually, scratch that. You're probably as, as in the dark as any of us, Noah. It's awesome, by the way, like, again, in any other game, I feel like the similarities between the two parties would be cheesy as heck. Oh, there's a hair upon, there's a person who's really into muscles, there's a person who doesn't want to, like, speak. Uh, there's two enthusiastic people, and there's, like, a soft-spoken leader. But, like, I think, like, the reason why they're doing this is, again, just to show the similarities between two sides and see how pointless it is just to be killing each other just for the sake of, like, dying in ten years. I think that's what they're trying to get across. I'll talk to Mio last. So who are you talking to over here? Tyon? I'm Manana, yeah. Talk to me all last. I think it's that story wise that makes sense. Mad looking for foodstuffs. We couldn't have foreseen that events would take this particular turn. True. Very true, dude. Very true. Huh. One second, Mio. I'm not I'm not avoiding you on purpose. It's not it's not the case. Proper hunting now, Noah. This is no time for tomfoolering. Huh. Doesn't look like there's much uh, we can use here. Ah, uh, spark it all. Never rains but it pours, eh? Lands, I know. I know, dude. I know. We should gather up anything that looks useful for the road ahead. Like this stuff over here? Are we gonna change it to outfits? Are we all gonna change it to outfits? Hey, these are all clothing containers. Cooking ingredients here. Get tea to get at these. Get that fluffy bar off the camera. <laughs> Not exactly equipped to match our setup. Eh, we'll just have to deal. <sighs> What's with the frown? Have they got nothing in your size? Well, this fabric is awfully thin. It this is awesome. Seem very reliable. You can't expect luxury, can you? Bound to be better than nothing, unless. You're happy with what you have now? N no, I'll wear it. Like, I think it just sacrifice. takes the edge off as well having a scene Ooh. with like you know, two former enemies just like picking jacket. clothes out of a box. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe I'll go for this one. I like the colors. Not exactly the freshest threads, eh? Oh my god, are you wearing a tank top? Maybe it's on the old side. But there's no tears. It'll be fine. Lines, you're gonna so look so good in that. They've got lots of funny designs here, huh? They sure do. Some of the stuff's like, how do you even put it on? <sighs> wow, oh, that's such a cool, that, that looks so good on, uh, on, on Uni. Okay, yeah. Oh my god. Are there any more of those? That suits Uni so well. Oh, shoot. What is it? Not gonna change? Huh? Um, yeah. Oh, he was, I, he was staring. Hang he was on, staring. I've still gotta uh, change my boots. Oh, so yeah, you have to change your boots, your huh? Boots. Uh, you'll need a hand with those, yeah? What? <laughs> yeah. These are the two most awkward lads that are changing off. Uh, Wait, uh, I can help. Of course the boys are like this. Of course the boys are like uh -huh. this. Of course. <laughs> they could have just changed here. <laughs> totally could have. Huh? You and his outfit yours look uh -huh. so good. That's hilarious. <laughs> Three shy boys. 
I wouldn't be able to change it for the lands. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, lads. Look at him. Look at the dude with the beefcakes. That suits you. That suits you, Tyan. That suits you so well. If you didn't have a look at Look at that. So he is like, like metallic. Oh my god, you need that. Looks awesome too. Everyone looks so good. Is that? Oh my god, Noah, you look so good. Yeah. My time left. <laughs> Think about it. Wouldn't want to lose track of time and just run out. Today, it's exactly three months. Three more months. And then I'll be gone from this world. Which is crazy to think about. I, about I won't be able to deal with it. About what I can achieve. What I'll leave behind. I've sent off so many. Who felt the same. I see. So that's why you trusted that guy. You hope to live more? I don't know. Doesn't matter. I mean, I wouldn't know how to deal with the last, like, what, three months of my life? But you and me just talking like this. I think that's kind of amazing. And if there really is hope... In that place that the man mentioned. Is that what you'd want for a legacy? <sighs> Weird question. I really respect the hell out of uh, Mio, by the way. Thinking like that, you know, how it's just amazing that these two are just talking. It's true. Like, they were killing, tried to kill each other just a, who can leave their legacy. a day ago, not even. They're content at the end. Huh? And the ones left behind. Can they really come to terms with that? That's food for thought. Huh? It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. I think about it all the time. What we leave when we're gone. What that connection truly means. Man, that'll make me cry just thinking about it. Let's not do that. Connection. Because you never know when it's your time, you know? <laughs> it's, it's horrible to think Heavy about. Stuff. Yeah. That's life. I guess. And that's like why I aim to be like so good to people if I can. Because they never know what's going to happen. That was a beautiful conversation, by the way. Again, heavy stuff to think about, as, as Mio said. But I think the conversation between, between the board... Wait. Between the board of them made sense. Especially with three months left in your life. Who's this? Those Van Hams. This is, oh my god, the hair. Best character in the game already. Wait, do you not, are we not camping out here? Or are we camping behind the box? Who was that? Who was that? Or oh, is the diary, wait, are we reading the diary? Will you save the game? Yeah, I will save the game, thank you. So we'll say I we can save over the save it's at this point. A record. Oh my god, look at our party. We have a sword fighter, a zephyr, a medic gunner, a tactician, and a heavy guard. And they're, they're gonna let us put every one of them on the team at all points. There's no uh there's oh, we're playing only for four hours and a half? Agnes and Keves working together as a team. Tyon seems a little dissatisfied. But at the time, his thinking was quite aligned with mine. Okay. Finding a path that lets us all live. I will make that my mission. It's a noble mission as well. And I feel like Noah probably agrees with you as well. It's so good that you found each other though. It's so good. Really, really, really good. I, I think I, I, I want to echo what everyone else is saying. Everyone I've, everyone I've seen talk about this game like on, on my feed and stuff has been saying the same thing. Like The cutscenes and the scenes between the characters are just like so amazing. Flashback. Look at the... Look at the... No, he's tiny, no, he's tiny here. Crying, oh, it's what happened. For now, just run. 
Oh, the poor boy. Run with a little breath you have. Noah, over here. That's we so. This is clearly what, ha what happened happen after Jorah, right? All right? With Jorah, with the rocks and stuff. It's, they said this was the day to change everything. What's that? Do... Hi? Hello? How are you? Like, look at how much they've been through so far as well. Oh, the poor boy, poor boy. My I'm poor, sorry. poor boy. Huh? If I'd been just a bit faster, I could have saved many more lives. Uh, who are? I'm Ethel, from Colony 4. Silvercoat. Ethel. So she has a reputation. She pushed her colony all the way to rank silver, and in her third term at that. Some do call me that. However, a person's worth isn't in their color. It's here. I'm I'm with Ethel, by the way. <laughs> nice blade you've got. And it's clear that, like, this person has had an effect on Noah as well. There's a lot of things that have been happening in these flashbacks that show, like, Noah, like, has been, like, changing uh, his perspective on how, like, this world works growing up as well. Obviously, still going with the flow. But I think I really enjoyed this. I love how heavy with the story it is, guys. Oh, my God, yes. Please give me, the, like, heavy as... What is this? Where is this? Wow, tough guys, eh? It's a wild ride, this passage of fate. Mobius, we yeah. Sounds a nice little awakening. You were all talk. Oh my god! Left here. Oh my god, okay, okay. Nothing to show for it, D. Oh, spare me, P. P. I did precisely what I was meant to do. P. So he was, he can morph. So, oh, they, he was, he, he was. Okay, okay, I got it. Sorry. Pray tell us who won. Oh, you look the coolest. Sure, I think. And with two whole colonies on the field. Holy hell, lad. We should have sallied forth in the first place. The whole thing would have been done by tea time. It was Jay who insisted on Jay? I thought that that had already been communicated. In that case, I believe it's my turn next. H, I'm pretty sure you already had your kicks the other day she when you wiped out Colony 8, no? Wiped sure, out Colony 8? The turn is mine. Honestly, you make more noise than the rabble at a feast. Zed. Zed. Even if you did stop its raging flow, it will soon burst through. All it takes is the slightest... Look picture. at this group of villains. And that is fate. I've told you before, haven't I? D. Ah, the gang's all here again. Oh my god, this is the coolest looking villain, group of villains ever. <laughs> okay. Will you go? If you say I go, I go. Right away as well. Like the presentation as well as off the charts. Let's see how far the flow brings them this time. Like in a theater. Like unveiling these people with a spotlight. 
I don't know, this game is mind-blowing, guys. This game is, like, I, it'd be really difficult for this game to not be my game of the year, I think, by the end of the year. Like, I don't know, like, I, I, like, I just, just, just expect it now at this stage that I'm just gonna love this fucking game. Zing my Conquest 1 is one of my favorite games ever. No! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? If you don't get it, Tyon, you'll never get it. Tyon, morning. <laughs> hey, did we wake you? Lads found a friend. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised you haven't gone and woken up the whole Forsaken Continent. So? Oh, this. We reckon we might be able to do the same as what Noah and Mio did. <laughs> you reckoned? You mean that Ouroboros thing? <sighs> yeah. How badass was that? We thought if we pulled it off, it'd raise our chances of survival a whole bunch. And you think it's that easy? Huh? I mean... I don't mean to burst your bubble here, but don't you think maybe that power's meant only for them? Don't burst their yeah, bubble. Yeah, but that Mobius guy, he did refer to us. I just thought... You thought maybe you could transform as well? Tyan, I like you, but what good does this do, breaking their spirit like this? Say it is possible. It could be me and Lance. It's just... kind of a the, feeling. Oh, no. Yeah, They're best friends. Hunch. They're their best friends. Stop what? it. Something wrong? Not at all. <laughs> then, uh, I guess that leaves me with her. Uni's outfit looks so good. I envy you, I really do. Oh, what are you moaning about now? Let's drop it. I don't want us bickering this early. Especially, not now we seem to be sharing a common destiny, we happy few. If He's just not feeling better, it. I'd say you're trying to get us all worked up. Think whatever you want. I think you might be on the mark, though. Oh? We were all there. Every one of us. In the same situation. Now, hold on. The only difference was... I was set on protecting Mio, protecting all of you guys. And then I suddenly transformed. That's it? That's all it took? Yeah. So you can take that form via a strong desire or emotion? Possibly. Probably too much to ask a Professor Grump here. What, me? Well, who do you think? And you're any different? What, me? <laughs> As if I'm gonna join with you. Uni. Come on, though. You're not going to manage this overnight. Not the way you all are right now. Even so, it can't hurt to have a little hope, can it? Hmm. I suppose there's logic in that. Not everything has to be logical, dude. You know? We're on two opposing sides of the battlefield now all together. That's a cool jacket as well. I still can't get over how good Uni looks. Okay, everyone ready? I still, it makes sense though that Tyon would be a bit apprehensive about everything as well though. Like, like I'm not going to say that that's wrong of him to be like that. Like, of course it'd be, it, it makes sense. Like, you know, it's, everything's going way too fast for people. But like, I think we need to go fast. You need, I don't, I don't get it. Why do you look so good? Who said you could look this good? Rate, ranking the outfits. Uni number one. Lands number two. Cena number three. Noah number four. Uh, Mio number five. Time number six. Harapons, do your thing. Go for it. Yeah. Tasty treats, check. I just took a quick look see and see the equipment uh, seems surprisingly quality. Don't you think? Ah, uh, yeah, it looks that way. I love how they're, these guys are already friends. <laughs> the, muscle, the muscle kids. city we're headed for. Looks like it'll be a long journey. I found it's a route heading south. Will that work for you? Thanks, Tyon. And look, they're showing how useful Tyon as well, just so the, the player knows, uh, me, I know, that he's not just trying to be annoying to people. He also has usefulness and he also will help us when we're need, we need help too. 
you got some real handy data there. I guess we head through the caves and towards uh, Millic Meadows first then. Chin up guys, let's get going. Oh my god, do we get to choose this on the party now? Obviously I want to choose someone who has topple. Here we go, change party members, that's LR. Oh, you serious? So press L and R, L and R to switch, uh, and while holding Z. Okay. Wait, who's on our team? Wait, are we all running together? Woo! Okay. Uh, I'll do my best. Do exactly as I we can just switch between oh, party members who we're playing as. Wait, is everyone, is everyone fighting at the same time? Hold on, is, there, is everyone just fighting at the same time? I guess we'll find out when we get into battle. Hold on a second, let's check out our characters though. Let's check out our arts. Uh, so we have a few different arts. There's Butterfly Blade, which is really good, I like that. Um, Air Fang is cool, but what's Glow Ring? Speed Demon boosts evasion by third. Okay, we, I, I'm fine with keeping your powers like this. Uh, Ether Cannon is a move that was actually used before. Uh, we don't want to get rid of myopic screen. Group you powering, maybe? Uh, what does this do again? Daze. Yeah, it, it does daze. Group heal is really good. Powering is probably the only thing that we probably could change. To Ether Cannon? Heals nearby allies with arts to max 100. Okay. Yeah, the okay, let's keep everything as uh, maybe the, those things as well. I just want to check out these things just, just to see. Stormy Skies. Overfall. Hazy Figure. What's Avenging Eagle? It's just a frontward AoE attack. Uh, okay, and out of the attack. Boys. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Wait, hold on a second. Skills? Class skills. So that's our skills, okay. Accessories. Okay, so y'all have little accessories too. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough. Let's go. We need to I just want to check. Like, if we're going to head south. how come you get to be the boss? I know this stuff too. I just let it happen. And the new outfits do make me feel more like a JRPG party. Is everyone fighting at the same time? What? <laughs> oh, this is so sick. I'm so in love with this. I am so in love with this, guys. I'm sorry. This is exactly what I wanted. More JRPGs, please do this. Most JR more JRPGs, please do this. I beg of thee. Oh, this was this was guy was a boss before. The side break. We destroyed that guy. Like he, he was a boss before, of course. But obviously not as tough now. Man, I'm so happy that we're all just together in this crazy group of people just bullying these enemies. Like, this is so good. We'll um, we'll swap between enemies. I think at times, just to see which would be the more more fun one to fight. You know, like you know, you never know which ones you'd want to fight. You know what I mean? Like, cause like I feel like. While it would be fun, to like, you know, use the, the main character like I always do, I also think that like, it might be more fun for you guys as well, for me to try and just use a bunch of characters that, uh, you know, I wouldn't use normally. You know, like, swap, swap between every once in a while, it's not gonna hurt nobody. There's a point of interest as well that we didn't actually, we didn't get, there was one point of interest we didn't get at you one point. No problem. Oh, so we move it together? Look at those strong boys. Look at those strong, strong boys. That's uh, where we had to go. Hold on a second. I want to check the the map for a second. Is the side quest even still available? That side quest that we saw before. There's also a point of interest here. And a point of interest here as well. Um, and there's a other channel. Okay, I want to go check this stuff out before we do anything. Let's start with the other channel. You can't travel here right now? 
Oh. What we can do here, though. Let's go here really quick, then, just to get the point of interest at least. I guess we can't go there because, like, it's probably, like, story-based or something. So where are we heading up here now? We want to just head down this way. This is so exciting to be a part of a full party, though. Like, this, it's rare when a game lets you do this. Usually, like, I think the first thing you played was you pick three characters. I would forget who I had. I think I always had Shulk. Um, I'm trying to think who I had. Shulk. Ryan. And... I, was pro I, I think I probably swapped back and forth between the third character. But I remember I always had Shulk and Ryan in the team together. Wait, the point of interest is all the way up there? That's probably why I didn't get it the first time. So how would we get to that? Probably from another side. Okay. That's fine. Let's go back to the camp then. Let's go back here so we can get this point of interest. Yeah, I don't I don't exactly always remember. I remember I had Shulk and, and Ryan. Always. Is that an enemy over there? Or are you just sleeping? Dog tags. Oh yeah, we better pick up the dog tags. No, it's a tree. It's just a tree. Are these his dog tags? Guernica Vandam. I guess that's his name. That's great. Huh? I kind of hated the idea of not even knowing who he was. Especially since he gave you so much inspiration, yeah. too. Let's remember him as the man who gave us a goal and the ability to choose. Fair enough. Yeah. Like, honestly, fair enough. And now we can just head back right through the cave again. I'm glad we did that, though. I'm very glad. Oh, we can do a camp as well. Should we do a camp? I mean, let's see, like, if, if we can boost... Break, guys. Level some people up, maybe. I'm sure the other guys have some experience points. Oh, maybe not. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, this is super sweet as well, though. Clean clothes, save. No, we're fine. Break we can leave number. now. Get back through here, then. We can just go straight ahead. We don't need to fight all the enemies in here again. This is a really pretty game, isn't it? Well, guys. I'm sorry I keep stopping, but like... Like, I don't know, I think it's gorgeous. And again, like, it just goes to show, this game will still look good in 10 years' time. Because art style will always trump graphics. You can have the most graphical, like, like intuitive, like, and like, the most amazing graphics you've ever seen in your life. But to, to be honest, like, if, you have a, if you're going for realism, your, your game is gonna be outdated within like a year. <laughs> like, it's gonna be outdated within like a year, because then another game comes along and goes like what we did. Like, I remember when Final Fantasy XV was announced. Kind of Is Augur for you? How do you think we feel? I'm pretty okay. Um, but, like, I remember when Final Fantasy XV was announced and seeing that game and being like, holy hell, like, the like seeing the trailers and stuff and being like, how is this game so freaking pretty? And then, like, of course, it's still gorgeous because the style still works. But, like, I think that, like, it no longer looks like a, like a more realistic game, if you think what I'm saying. And I'm glad that they keep the same art style, because then it makes the games kind of timeless. So, over here, I think, is actually where we're going to get that point of interest, are we? It feels that way. Yep. Make this quick. It's so funny how we're just like destroying these guys now. Let's leave these enemies. They clearly don't want to fight us. What's that device? Looks like it's still usable. Who wants to do the honors? What does it? What does it do? Like so. Oh, you're just pressing random buttons, maybe? That's what I do. I'm on it. Oh, shortcut. Why? Why? Okay. I mean, maybe it'll come clear in, like later on. Still though, 
I mean, like, they know, the game knows what it's doing. What a gorgeous view. It is, it's beautiful. Wait, this isn't the right way, is it? We just end up back at Alfetto Valley. It's actually so pretty because, like, in t I tend to, like, you know, walk like this in games. Walking like this in a Xenoblade game is sometimes so... Oh, my lord. It's sometimes so needed. Kilmaris Highland. Wow. Again, Monolith Soft does scale better than any other uh, developer out there. Like, if you want, it, yes, you can. They probably like you know. There's probably open world games that you love, like Breath of the Wild to me. And they helped Breath of the Wild. So that's the thing. That's why that game is such terrific. Oh. Big boy. Big boy. Everything's gonna be fine. Maybe. Big boy. Hey. Big boy. Come over. Look over here. Big boy. That's so cool. The reward is don't die. <laughs> Two of our party members died. <laughs> we were looking at scenes off the cliff. Hey guys, could I have a moment? Meh? Hmm? Meh. Yeah? What's up? There's something that I forgot to tell you. It's about who in charge of Dindin duties? No. From now on, I want us to avoid combat as much as possible. So, Kevez, Agnes, if either of them decide to put up a fight, don't kill them, okay? Not saying I'm against the idea, but why? Guess it'd suck having to draw on our allies. Do we just knock them out cold or something? Or get them to surrender? How kind of you. Huh? I'm sure our past victims will appreciate that. Yes, it's, it's, we're changing, though. Little. We're trying to change. We don't need to take any more lives. There's no point. <sighs> There's a reason we met. There has to be. Huh? You think? Back then, if we hadn't met each other, we wouldn't be here like this now. Even though we're being chased by both nations at once. We get chased, we run. Easy. A smart new decision. We just have to make it over there as well. I mean, it's good that we'll he's making an active change. To that sword. We're camping already? We took like 10 minutes of his walk, guys. Blood. Just give it time. It's early days. Maybe so. Funny pattern you got there. You can talk. You've got those shiny chest doodads. We've always had these. Yeah, your shiny chest you know, doodads. I've never even thought of myself as strange before. So many things. Taken for granted. We're pretty different, huh? Worlds apart. No one's worlds apart. If anything, we should be questioning all that we've thought to be true. Differences are all a matter of perspective. <laughs> Our skeptic. Hey, are you always like this? Of course. It's my nature. Hmm. Personally, I think it's easier to take things at face value, you know? Now, wouldn't that be nice? Huh? You making fun of me? You would get him. All I said was, it would be nice. Oh, no, you don't. You just call me an airhead, you jerk. This is just... How long are you going to drag this out? <laughs> for as long as <laughs> Lance and Senna are already best it's friends. It's beautiful. Four eyes. I can't believe this. Someone shoot me. Uni, do it. Yeah, you're not insulting Uni, guys. I'm sorry. Like, that doesn't happen. It's not happening on my watch. What's that? Hey Mimi, can you see that Ferranus over the, by the side of the big outcrop there? 
Oh, yeah. Was it Ferranis? Odd. I don't have any data about a colony established in this locale. Odd for sure. No, I take a good look. Isn't it kind of old? It does look like it's seen quite a bit of service. Yeah, I don't think they make him like that anymore. Mm, do you think it's safe to be around? You're freaking me out of here, Mio. Sorry. I don't think an apology is necessary. Do you think there could be some useful resources and stuff still there? A possibility, certainly. It's in the general direction of our objective. Why not investigate? Alright, let's check it out. I mean, why not? And that's in our, yeah, the Hillside Hulk. Okay. Looks like we're gonna be checking out a little bit of an objective now. Going after the big boy. Come on, guys, let's go. Lands, you go first. Yeah, I love the interactions between these characters as well. Oh, there's uh, something over there already. Let's go. We're gonna be taking our time, of course. We're not gonna just like yeah, bust through the game. I feel like that would be doing the game a disservice. I did say I would do side quests off camera. We won't do all the side quests off camera. I think like any ones that seem kind of meaty, we might do a few of them on camera. I think my just the biggest thing for me is just you know like pacing and stuff like that. And I feel like you know I don't want to have an episode where we're just doing side quests. Do you want to fight? You're very cute. Why would you ever take us on? Where's the container again? What's oh, over here? Oh, Uni runs towards as well. Uni, you can keep running towards it. We're probably going to take this guy. How does the Collectopedia work now? Like, we should check it out in a second, actually. There's a level 12 boy. Someone top him. The cancelling of the tax is actually like so freaking good too. I just think we'll do a good job fighting this guy though. Especially with our attack up. And we cancel attack into into the overclock buster. Can you topple him? It's okay if you don't have it. Yeah, that's, that's my bad. I probably should have waited a second. That's probably my bad. Oh, you missed the topple. Fair enough, like. The Titans is like shouting in the back as well. I mean, we got the cancel, but it wasn't. Yeah, having like Lands and uh, Mio on the team don't work out very well. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get to use the, use the final move. That's fine though. And she run, she run over there again. Oh, we got a lot, of, a lot of item strats too. That was like a really fun battle as well. Thank you, Uni, for coming over to the container. I hope we can make use of this. Nice. There's level, a level, level. Wait, what the hell? Is, who's that up there? Wait, let's let's keep getting these guys though. Yeah, we're fighting. We've been fighting a lot of these guys, but like, I feel like it's good practice. It's good practice, you know? And like, they go down easy too. They go down fairly easy. We can do like a bit of exploration. It's not gonna... Level 13. Eren Rugal. Get down here now. Face your master. Come down, Eren Google. That's what I thought, Eren Google. A rogue Google. Eren Google. Get down here! 
Who let, who let you think that you could do this? Who let you think you could fight us up from up there? Okay, let's go and get those items. I want them. I want them. I know I'm gonna need them for a side quest eventually. Let's go. Give me those items. Yes, some feathers. Right now, hide your feathers, little back door, back door baby. Okay, here we go. Yeah, man, look at this. You can see how big this area is, just like from a distance as well. I'm not over, like I'm not reacting. Games, some games can't do it. Like, and I, here's the thing. I'm just like Red Dead 2 is one of my favorite games of all freaking time. I love that game. I cried over that game. I would say like it doesn't even do the scale the same. Like it's not even like near the same as what this game can do and what Xenoblade can do and what Monolith Software able to do. And I know I talk up Monolith Soft a lot, but they deserve it. They're freaking incredible. Probably the best thing Nintendo's ever like uh, teamed up with. Nice, like, like we're destroying. I wonder if they're ever gonna separate the party because, like, this is like we're destroying things. I'm not complaining. I mean, like, let me destroy things. Let me destroy things. I'll take a big. I'll take some destruction. Oh, hello. Wait, what are you? Why is that? Why do I have a big red marker behind it? It's like a little squirrel. A prithy Pepito? That's what the- yeah, that's like, like a nickname you can just someone. Pepito, Pepito. Wow, so it's like- it's like a- probably like a rare enemy. It seems like a very rare enemy. Have we fought- we probably- I think we have probably we fought Crustips before, of course, yeah. Oh, we got a new location as well as we we're doing that. Nice. And we just go for you now. Mew is so useful to have on a team as well. Very happy to have Mew on the team. Maybe we should do like, can we do it? Because I think you do two slashes, right? Maybe not. Okay. I was going to see if we can do two slashes into a cancel. Um, let's keep exploring. We're gonna be heading down in this direction anyway. Should be. Let's have a little look. Like maybe we can look up here as well. Whoa! Let's try and aggro it over here, over here, over here, guys. Let's bring it over here. Cause we're gonna, yeah, bring, all of you come over here. Don't worry, I'll fight you. Think I won't fight you? Yeah, we're cheating. Cheating time. Cheating time. Everyone, cheat! Cheat! So we can fight this creature head on! It seems like Edge Trust is uh, leveling back up way quicker. So, uh, when's the battle happening? Ah! You do you get them because it was so easy. Okay, it's okay. Be careful. Be careful, guys. This is a priest Pyros crust dip. Topple him. I'm gonna change to working with Mio very quickly as well. Um, probably for the next while after this. Just so it's like a bit fun as well, you know? But let me wait. maybe we get past the side quest in this area. Wait. Oh, you think that's funny? Doing that move? That's not funny. The compliments they give to each other every time they're fighting is beautiful. Nice little attack as well. I like finding, yeah, like, these, these lucky guys are actually pretty easy to beat as well. Oh my god, he got toppled again. This is exactly what we needed. Here we go. What were they gonna do? Make me 
yawn myself to death. Yeah, and like the fact that we're gonna get to go on top of these areas at some point too, like is is awesome. It's freaking awesome. What's that? What's that? Let's go, let's go, guys, let's go. Maybe no, I shouldn't be. Wait, hold on a second. Uh, let's try Mio for a bit. Let's try using Mio for a bit. You're right. It isn't worth our time. You're, yeah, they're right. They're right. She's right. She's right. I'm just being a, uh, uh, you know, I'm I, at this point. I'm just fighting things for the sake of fighting. She's right. Oh, there's a big boy enemy up there. Can we can we avoid him? Maybe. We could probably avoid him. Like if we try, like maybe we run, go up and run around, and just get the item, and then run. Let's try. We're all sneaking in like this, shouting, ah! Like if we just avoid these guys. Don't even look at them. Don't even look at them. Don't even. Adam. Adam Griebel. What is this? An old wrinkled like shark. That's all I wanted. See you later. That's all I wanted. <gasps> There's a skirmish. Is that a skirmish? Not a skirmish. What am I saying? Saying. What is this? Oh, you're a lucky enemy. I was like, what the hell are you? Well, that is a skirmish. We can choose which side we go on. Oh my god. Let's join the heavy brogs. Wait, but we get bonus XP for this. Heavy brogs. We're the heavy brogs, guys. You think you can beat the heavy brogs? Team heavy brogs. And we're going to kill the heavy brogs after this as well. No, no, we're, they're our friends. They're our friends. Heavy brogs are our friends. Come on, guys. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me now. There we got it, guys. Heavy Brogs, thanks for your time. Wow, and now you're friends with us? Now they're just like, yeah, dude. Look at them. They're like, yeah, we got them. Yeah, it is, but like we were friends, of, we're friends with the Heavy Brogs now. And they disappear too. Oh, thank you, Heavy Brogs. No problem helping out the Heavy Brogs, guys. No problem. That was the joy of my life. <laughs> that was the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. I was helping out the Heavy Brogs. Fight with focus. <laughs> yeah, we do at this point. Like, we've been fighting these enemies a lot. So there's at least a lucky enemy over here. We should probably take on the lucky enemy for sure. Because we've only really used a few characters. We've used Uni a bit as well, which was fun. Let's check out this side quest then. To check out this colony. Again, it looks a little bit desolate, but I wonder if it's like... A bunch of rogue people living here, maybe. No, it's definitely desolate. Cross tips. One, two, three, yeah, quite a number two. Reckon they've stocked the Pharaonis as there's the turf. We'll have to get rid of them before we can search for salvageable materials. Okay, let's do it. Sounds like a plan. All for it. Luring enemies? Oh, yes, we've tried to do this before, right? Luring enemies. Awesome. But you can actually press up, of course, now to freaking actually lure them in. Neat. If we knew that before, I, all the times I was actually luring enemies would have worked. Now it just feels like we're bullying. Nice. Well done. Well done. He's also aggro to lands, which is not terrible either. 
Because Lance has a good defense as well. Just like Neo does. Overkill. Definitely overkill. Who else wants to be defeated? There's my friend the Brogs! Brogs! Hello, Brogs. You're all my friends. And there's two level 11 blue guys over there? That's gonna be interesting. I don't think we've ever had to take on two blue guys at the same time. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't think we've ever had to do that. Here we go. Let's see if we can, uh, we could probably like, oh, it's a fabricator. Oh no, I'm terrible at this. I'm terrible at the fabricator. Guys, I'm so bad at the fabricator. It's not even funny. Like, it's actually not even funny. I'm so bad at the fabricator. To me, to you, to me, to you, to me, to you. Yeah, we're gonna these these guys take a little bit of oh there's some way to, we can see off as well. Will they see them off together? I guess we're gonna find out. I mean we're doing pretty good with like damage as well, like. We're just like destroyed. There's like a, a bunch of flashing lights just destroying these guys. Whoever did that move is amazing. And which means you have one more to defeat, and then we're just done with these guys. Where's the last one? I see it over here, is it? Oh, this, this is even a regular. I, I think I just misconstrued. I thought it was going to be a bigger boy. But we can destroy this guy pretty easily. I love the idea that they can, like, uh... We can compliment lands. Like, just because he needs to be complimented. Done, boy. Donezo. First of all, let's uh, send off. So it's whoever we're using at the time will send them off. And I'm guessing it's whoever's party we're in as well, like... Guess we don't need to do overkill either. There we go, now we can check out the container. It won't budge. It's because Florence is low on power, it would bring online containers out might open. In Florence of this type, power compartment usually located over there. Okay, let's take a look then. Let's go up there then. Yeah, I like the idea of using multiple different characters as well. It's kind of fun. Could you help me out here? Here we go. Tyon's been helping out a lot. Very helpful person. How's it look, Riku? My power level is at precisely zero, so Riku cannot say why one way or another. Guess what a flame clock, it really was a uh, kind of a long shot. Bet we could force open the containers. They don't look so tough. If you're confident you can do that without breaking the contents, be my guest. Well, me and, and Lance and Senna could do it. No promises. Stop. No need for gratuitous violence. Can solve problem with either cylinder. Riku surely have one somewhere. Uh, meh. Do my eyes see is that flat out empty? Back at the call, we'd always complain about how about how we uh, were short on this or that. But even a fraction of the supplies there would be more than we have now. Now that we're away, I'm sure we'll miss Homer even more keenly. Oh, that's so that's so uh, interesting to have that here now as well. Yeah, because of course they're going to be missing their camp. Like, would they have everything kind of like done for them besides, like, of course, their own task? Hey, correct me if I'm wrong, but we just need to play with either to get it running, right? I ask because look over there. 
Isn't that an either channel? It doesn't look too far. I'll go take a look. See if I can harvest some for us. I'll go with you. There's safety numbers. Maybe it would be better if we all uh, try to stick together. I second that assessment. Okay, let's go right now. So either channels on the field, there are green light sources called either channels. Using them to fill up the cylinders will come in handy to your adventure, so be sure to harvest them. Press A well near the either channel to harvest either into a, either a, 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 a cylinder. Let's go. 284 damage is exactly what I thought was going to happen. I expected 284 damage. Trinity, I expected that as well. Noah, heal up there, buddy. I left my conscience in the six diamonds. Ether's gushing out. This is an ether channel, no doubt about it. So we're putting it into here, and that's going to power up the thing, then. Should be enough. Moving forward, there'll be doubtless times where we uh, there will be there will be doubtless be times when ether, ether will prove indispensable. Let's gather when we have a chance. Let's get back to the Veronis and use the either cylinder to try reboot the motor assembly. Right. Rebooted. Okay, so we can like reboot for okay, okay, we can reboot like different Veronis things. Okay. Go, Hello. Guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. I'll make this quick. Come here. I got something for you. You're a spoiler. I don't think I have to be as close as I am as well. I know there's a dodge as well. Someone was mentioned. I got to figure out to do the dodge really well as well, guys. That's going to come in handy, I think, as well. But I think you probably... I wonder if like, your accuracy is higher if you're closer. We're just okay. That was good damage, guys. That was really good damage. At least we conquered that. Now we have to deal with these other little guys as well. All these Adam Gr Gr uh, Gables, like. So many of like the stuff just hanging around here as well. Like now after killing all these guys. Don't think this is the norm. That was a good bunch of battles. That was a good bunch of battles. Oh my god, my friends, the Brogs, Brogs. Hello, my boys. How are you? It's so good to see you. What? Brogs. Brogs, please. This is, this is so unexpected from you guys. You guys used to be my best friends. And now look at us. Now that we've lost our companionship with the Brogs, we're going to be so careful. Not to piss off any more Brogs. I thought the I thought the the lines of the bogs was actually gonna last forever. I thought we were gonna have a full-on battle. You know, like they're gonna come in at the last second in the final boss and help us out. We brogs will help you. Like that kind of way. We brogs are here to say. Oh, we love. How many people loved up? A bunch of people loved up. Let's go. I love when we're complimenting. I love when they just compliment each other. It's great. 
Okay, let's head back up here if we can get up from here. I know we can probably fast travel, but I figure we're going to see more of the world if we kind of do the Skyrim jumps up here. I can confirm that they were damaged beyond repair. We'll be fine. Well, we're going to figure it out anyway. <laughs> we're going to find out anyway now that that will happen. Let's install an ether cylinder in the power compartment and get the Pharonis moving. Yep. And we can we have one to spare then as well if we want to do it again. There's a cave over there. Also, the fabricator is working now. Oh boy. To me, to you. Pharonis Hulk rebooted. It moved. Now we should be able to claim the contents of those containers. Yes, of course. We may be able to claim more than we first anticipated. Wait, what? That's how. Yes, the fabricator. Of course, Tyan looks at it first. By restoring power to the Pharonis, it would seem we brought the microfab back to life as well. So yes, I'd recommend checking the fabricator while we were on our uh, little salvaging stint. Oh, can we camp? We can camp as well. I'm so for camping. I'm In fact, we will fish. camp. Do we have any snacks? First of all, let's save. We have to keep track of our progress. Uh, we could clean our clothes, but I think for now, like, I'm gonna end the video here. Look at they're all. Look at them all talking. Look at them all hanging out together. It's great. And I will see you all very soon. Bye bye. <laughs>